What's up? What's up, creative? My name is Philip, and this is PR Creative Studio. Yes. Yeah, so today we are going to look at how to create a modern birthday design for your clients or for your friends and family. Yes. So as a creative, you should know how to go about with these things. Yeah. So today I have a blue type of gradient background. Yeah. I'll find another time and take you guys through our to achieve this but in the meantime i'm going to upload leave the link in the description so that you can download this background and also use it for your designs yes so without further ado let's get much into the video yes okay so with the background created this is what you're going to do yeah yeah so i'm going to type hbds which uh, the, the the shortcut for happy birthday yeah so I'm going to DM. Sorry, eh? I'm going to type HBD, uh, which says Happy Birthday, or which means Happy Birthday. Yeah, I'm going to use a font called Grow Bold. Grow Bold. Yes, I'll type that in the description and where you can also get that font. Yes. So let's get right into it. Yes. Yeah, so with the text to selected. Now this the font is uh the one you use what the mickey mouse yeah mickey mouse if you have watched mickey mouse you know yeah you can identify this font yes yeah, so i'm going to type h b d yes and i'm going to increase the size of the font like so yes and align it to the center let me adjust it a little like right, so yes so when you're done this is what you can do you can duplicate the text by control j pressing control j and then you come to the layers panel and lock the first one i mean the copy the copied text you lock it and then choose the the one the main text yes and then you enlarge it a little like so drag this one in here i want to create a double layer text effect yeah with a different color yeah so what you're going to do is you select that same thing and then you choose a different color like uh something like a yellow type of feel like so yes like so yeah and let me reduce it it's showing too much so let me yes so i think this is cool yeah so with, when you're done now let me place the text yeah and the image sorry the image so i have the first image right here i have the first image right here so i'm gonna place the image here into it yes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take off the background now i the, the fastest way to take off backgrounds from images is you duplicate a hey, sorry you rasterize the image like so yes and then you come to the magic wand two. you click on it and then you highlight you select the background yeah the one the, the color that you want to take off or the part that you want to take off from the picture yeah so you select now we use this magic wand to when you have two separate colors yeah two separate colors and you want to take one out so when you do you just select this area and so it will highlight all the colors similar colors around the image and then you hit delete and we are good to go so you control d to deselect the areas and voila see the magic yeah so all you have to do is um, you pos position your image very well position your image very well now i'm, I'm going to shift my text to the top a little because I have two other images I'll be placing in the design. 
here so let me shift this guy here right? like so and then bring the other guy speak the same picture but this time around he's standing and then use the same technique to take off the background from this image rasterize select the magic one two like so and delete and then control d to deselect and then now this is what you're going to do we are going to now I have some parts here if you look closely some parts of the image uh the background is not gone yet so you can still select a magic one to select the part that is not gone delete and then you come it be, be here to you delete and then select this part too and then delete and then control d to deselect and we are good to go yes i'm going to place this image right here behind him like so yes so behind him like that and let me reduce this image a little yeah and then i'm going to select the one that is standing and and drag it to the left side like so and we are good to go now so now to create some kind of a smoke effect around it to make the pictures blend with the background so what you are going to do is um you come you you select the first image you did like so and then you create a layer on, on top of them and then you come and hit on the, the color picker and then choose a color yes choose any color from the background so you can select this side you can select this one so i want to do the deeper one like so and then i'll select my brush two the brush two like so and then come to the down part like so and drag click and drag it like so yes now and bring it down like so bring it down a little to blend with this one is a personal preference yes so let me drag it down a little again so you can see it blends with the background now i can also control j to duplicate the layer and this time round rotate it rotate it like so and drag it to the side like so and drag it to this side increase it like so let me so that it blends with the background yes and i'm going to let me shift sorry let me shift my layer like back a little i'm going to duplicate that layer again and drag it to the left side sorry drag it to this side now you can do use this trick you control t and then right click and choose flip horizontal yes so that you can get it at the other side too of the design yes so that it blends with the image yeah, so i'm gonna type uh, a faint text in white which is happy birthday with his name so i'm gonna this time around, i'm going to use gotham i'm going to use gotham and Gotham is a font family, so I'm going to take um, book. Yes, book. And type happy birthday. His name is Abdul. Happy birthday, Abdul. Yes, Abdul. Yes. Now I'm going to reduce the size of this text. Like so make sure it is center aligned and then i'm going to kennel it with i'm going to space out the text like so like so and we are good to go now now there's this confetti that i used in this design yes the confetti 
so let me open my downloads uh, my downloads let me see yes 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 yes, yes. so I have this confirmed to you it's loading it's loading damn my PC is slow today all right all right I think it's downloading yes so guys with this confetti this is what I did I'm not going to use everything like so so I'm going to select part of the confetti so this what you select the eraser to to and click on any part of the confetti and rasterize it yes when you are done you come in you take the list lasso tool and then choose any one of the gold confetti yes select any of them like so after so I selected this one then I'll just right click and choose layer via cut so I'll cut this one from there so I have one then I'll choose the last the confetti again and select another one another one that I can use so I'm selecting this one two and then I'll hit layer via cut so I have, a, I have two then I'll choose the last one and then we are good to go so I'm going to select this one to right here this any of them you can choose any of them it's a personal preference so layer via cut and after all them so when you are done you just turn the main thing off and you can see you have one two three in the design yes so what you are going to do you have to rotate it like so and increase the size yes increase let me rotate it a little bit like so increase the size like so and increase the size for this one too then rotate it a little and increase the size and what you are left with is just adjust them to fit in the design yes yes so with this one I select the third one I place it here like so and duplicate this one and place one here like so you can choose as you duplicate them as many as you want yes so let me reduce the size of this guy right there a little now we are good to go so what you can do now next is you add some a bit of um, motion to it so you select this confetti and you come to filter filter blur and come to motion blur and then you set it to 39 or any one i think my 39 i love the 39 and then the angle is set to negative 12 yes and you hit ok yes so i'm going to do same for the other one so this time around i have the motion blur already so i just click on this part and then we are good to go you can do the same for this one and do the same for the last guy and we are good to go so guys yes so if you want to learn how to create a massive birthday flyer designs yes so this one is cool this one is great this one is massive kindly subscribe to the channel and we have more tutorials coming up next peace out